Shalom, all praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahweh, Kodash, double honor, son today, all the apostles, a great millstone, for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things, Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 1, titled, Offerings Required of Israel. I read that in my Bible just then, <coughs> the title for this uh, chapter. <coughs> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land of your habitations, which I gave unto you, and will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, or a sacrifice in performing a vow, which nowadays we are not allowed to do that, as is mentioned here in the book of Matthew chapter 5, and also the offerings by fire or in a free will offering which we do until, which we can do until this day sorry right okay sorry about that um Should have did this before. Right. Or in your solemn feasts to make a sweet savor unto the Lord. And that savor is, the, is, is a smell, and he likes the smell of burnt offerings <coughs> of the herd or of the flock, which is then, you know, oxes and stuff like that. And these shall sheep and goats. You know, you have a herd of uh, cows or ox, you know, stuff like that. But we don't have to do these things anymore according to the New Testament. And we are not allowed to make vows, by the way. Matthew 5 and 34. You also have one in Ecclesiastes 5. And you have another one in James chapter 5. I'll start with the James one. James 5 and 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, which is also a vow. But let your yea be yea, and your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. So you're not supposed to be swearing in court. Because they make you swear on the Bible. But the Bible says you are not allowed to swear. So that's a lie. But they trick you. And they condemn you. Ezekiel, oh uh, sorry. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Mm. I'll just start here to, to speed it up. You can read the rest for yourself if you have the time. Ecclesiastes 5 and 4. When thou vowest a vow unto the Heavenly Father defer not to pay it so you need to pay it or else don't make a vow for he had no pleasure in fools pay that which thou hast vowed better it is that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay so what is a vow <coughs> a solemn promise that you do to a deity and in this case is the heavenly father but you're not allowed to do it. Well, back in the ancient days, we were allowed to do it. Okay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Basically, don't let your mouth get your ass in trouble. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore, because well, the angel is going to kill you. Wherefore should the Heavenly Father be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? Because... Back in the days, the Heavenly Father was really close to the people. So since the Greeks, since the time of the Greeks, uh, 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 9, after his death, which is Alexander the Creep, the Greek, so Alexander reigned 12 years and then died. And his servants bear rule every one in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. 
so did their sons after them many years. And evils were multiplied in the earth. So since the Greeks, since the time of the Greek, Antiochus, Epiphanes, Antiochus the king and stuff like that, since the time of the Greeks, as you can see here, the kingdom of the Greeks, evil multiplied upon the planet earth. Because before that, there was not such evil as it is now. And it, it, it kept on growing after them, after the rulership of the um, Greeks. Then the Romans kicked in. <laughs> then the Romans fell. And then you had uh, the so-called Holy Roman Empire. But, and that was led by Jake Constantine, if I'm correct. Yeah. And then you, yeah, September Severus took down the Roman Empire. Okay, yeah, yeah, if I'm correct, yeah, right. So uh, it was talked about Alexander of Macedonia, you know. He beat Darius, the king of the Persians and the Medes. And uh, he was first to rule over Greek. You know, that was Alexander, the so-called, uh, they call him the Great, but he's, just, he's a Greek. He, he's a great Sodomite, so he, you know, he did. He did freely what the Vatican people are doing to little boys right about now. He did that freely because nobody could arrest him. He beat the shit out of you. He was a strong little pedophile. If you see the movie, he was a warrior. Alexander? Movie 2004, if I'm correct. I just saw it, by the way. That's why I said 2004. <laughs> yeah, this one. And uh, yeah, you can go watch the movie for yourself. I haven't seen it, but I heard about it, and I didn't want to see it because, you know, maybe I'll look at it one day. Maybe I will. I don't know. He's also mentioned in the Bible, yeah, Ptolemy, right? He's a good guy. He, this guy's a good actor, man. Yeah, he played the role of Ptolemy really, really, really good. <laughs> but, you know, I didn't see it. I saw clips and stuff like that. But he's a good actor, you know. Maybe I'll watch the movie one day. But the point is that evil evil multiplied right so it says that let me see wherefore yeah because back in the days the heavenly father was very close to the people he let them know things and stuff like that like in the book of first Ezra, you know every other nation knew of the heavenly father but nowadays nobody knows of the god of the bible he doesn't intervene like how he used to do back in the days but all that is going to change He's going to come back and show himself to be the ultimate one, like the only one, by, by, by the way, because everybody be worshiping idols and stuff like that. And he's going to also manifest and show his people, which are the Israelites, which a lot of people that now would nowadays want to say like that. Yeah, yeah, that's not true. And all that there, you know, God's love everybody. OK, cool. We, we shall see. Wherefore should the Heavenly Father be angry at thy voice? And destroy the work of thine hands because if you read the book of uh, Maccabees you will see that angels came down and beat people up <laughs> you know <laughs> that was funny right so let me see right so don't swear don't take a vow and you had Matthew 5 and 34 I started at 33 again you have heard that it had been said by them of old time the, the one everybody calls Jesus said, said this if you read the red letter Bible you will see that this is all in red thou shalt not forswear thyself so don't swear don't take oaths and stuff like that but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths I just read that in Ecclesiastes 5 you shouldn't forswear yourself meaning don't swear and not do it but you shall perform what your word has said, your mouth has said. You perform your words. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is the heavenly Father's throne, neither by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. Like I often say, you have people that are trying to be smart. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can do that. Yeah, you can make your hair white and you can hair, make your hair black, but you need the products of the Heavenly Father, meaning you need the ingredients of the earth in order to make your hair black or white. So you didn't do it by yourself. You still needed the Heavenly Father. You can't do it by yourself. 
But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So, guess what? You are not allowed to swear. Let your communication be yea, yea, or nay, nay. This is out of the book. Out of the, you can't do this. Right? So, mm, here. performing a vow, you can't do that. And also the offering of fire, you also, that is done away with, by the way. Because it says here that, I'll start here. Now, this is the book of Hebrews chapter 9. And I think I'll read till here. Then verily the first covenant had also orda uh, ordinances of divine surface and a worldly sanctuary, right? That's the first covenant. They had uh, ordained divine surfaces, meaning the surfaces that the high priests would do, were doing, which were divine, and the worldly sanctuary, which were, which is a sanctuary upon the planet Earth. And it is, um, well, I'm going to read, I'm going to read about it. Now it says here, for there was that, for there... On the planet, on the earth, back in the first covenant time, we still are in the first covenant, by the way, but I mean in ancient times, uh, because back in the days the heavenly Father manifested Himself and everybody knew Him, but nowadays they don't. But anyway, as it is written here, for example, First John chapter three, verse one: Behold, wait, let me see, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, <clears throat> the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. The world doesn't know the Heavenly Father, the God of the Israelites, the God of the Bible, the God of the universe, because they, they be God's many. First Corinthians 8 and 5, and, um, and, and also... I, I think I got it. Antichrist. Yeah. Right. So it says here first. First Corinthians 5 and 8. Oh, uh, 8 and 5. For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be gods many and lords many, so there are many gods, but there's only one true living God. Yahweh is his name. <clears throat> So it says here, 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, Little children, it is the last time. So when was the last time? 2,000 years ago. That was the beginning of the, the, the end, which is two days ago, by the way. And as ye have heard that the Antichrist shall come, and now, so this is 2,000 years ago, are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So 2,000 years ago was already the last days. What does AD mean? AD mean in, the, in BC, right? It shows you AD stands for Anno Domini, Latin for in the year of our Lord. So when did he come? He came. No. Six and Hosea six and one, come and let us return unto the Father, for He had torn and He will heal us; He had smitten and He will bind us up. After two days will He revive us, which is two thousand years. In the third day, on the third thousand year, He will raise us up, and we shall live in His sight. This is why we are now actually coming back to Yahweh Basham Yahshai, because our people don't have a God. We don't have a land. Uh, the Native Americans' land has been stolen. The slave descendants, we, we don't have a land. You know what I'm saying? So we, we don't have a standing army. Slave descendants don't have a standing army. The Native Americans don't have a standing army. Um, let me see. Yeah, you do. I think the Mexicans have a standing army, if I'm correct, because they are also Israelites. But the main tribe, which is uh, Judah, doesn't have a standing army. Neither do the all the all, all the uh, hundred percent of all the other slave descendants don't have a standing tribe, a uh, standing army. So we don't have a land. We don't have nothing, right? So the heavenly Father is raising us up, and He's going to make us into that army, 
according to the book of Ezekiel 37, where it says that, so he prophesied first, Ezekiel 37 and 10. You can read the rest uh, from verse 1 until verse 14 if you have the time. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived. And the breath is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And stood up upon their feet, an exceeding, uh, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dry. That's why we need the water of the Lord, because the Lord says, I have the everlasting water, which is also the truth. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, of the Bible, which is the truth, which is the truth, which is the truth. And our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts because we are not one nation anymore. We fight against each other. Plus, the other one is we are not, uh, we, we don't have anything. Therefore, prophesy unto them and say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh the power, behold, all my people, I will open your graves because if because we are dead. He that born of the congregation of the dead. Proverbs 21 and 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So basically you're, you're alive, but you're dead from the neck up. And that is our people. We are in the graves. And cause you to come up, up, out, of your, up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Because like I said, that's our land. You have the heathens that are fighting now for that land, which is funny as hell. But anyway, so going back to over here, we shall live in his sight after two days. Yes, First Peter chapter three verse. No. Second Peter chapter three verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day so how long did it take to create the earth six thousand years and then one thousand years the Lord had rest from all the work that he did right and people were created on the fifth thousand year as it is shown here oh shit there's one Genesis chapter 1, verse 20. Yeah, here. 20 until 23. That's the fifth day, which is the 5,000th year people were created. Uh, and, uh, and, and the water and, and the, uh, the powers created great wills and every living creature that move it. And by the way, they trick you because uh, the Caucasian people did this. Um, Dragon in the Bible were removed. Evolutionismsmyth.com. And if you actually look up the Hebrew here, where where is it again? Here. Okay, so you go to the word Genesis. Ah, not the word. I mean, not the word Genesis. I mean the book of Genesis, but the word Wales, which is here. You see this word Wales, which is Hebrew fifty-eight seventy-seven. Let me go here first. Dragons were removed in the Bible. So it says here. Hmm, I'll put this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Here, for example, Job 30 and then 29. I am a brother to dragons and a companion to owls. The reason why he said that is because dragons make this make these sounds. They're, they're howling and stuff like that. And Job was very suffering, and he is a companion to owls, which is always at night and uh, gloomy, not gloomy, sorry, <laughs> basically sad. Oh yeah, like that. So he was, he was, he was crying. Uh, if you read the rest of the chapter, you will see that he was actually suffering. You know, he was howling and suffering and stuff like that, which is the sounds that these animals make, right? But the fact that he mentioned them. That shows you that he knows how they sound. And also the word well, as you can see here. Wells, here. Uh, Hebrew 8577. Hebrew 8577. 
dragon, serpent, sea monster, dragon, or dinosaur. What do you mean, or? What do you, what do you mean, or? <laughs> They're laughing at you. But once the time comes, the Heavenly Father will implement this because the Heavenly Father is not a man that he should lie. Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Heavenly Father shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Heavenly Father shall, the Heavenly Father shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. And there's one race which we which 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 shall be exterminated upon the planet Earth. We will find out who that is. We will find out eventually. I'm telling you. I already know. Uh, if you read this chapter, you you might get an idea. Uh, Obadiah chapter one verse eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. So, Jacob and Joseph shall come together and burn Esau. But now Jacob and Joseph are cut off from each other. They have no land. They are destroyed. They have nothing. They being robbed daily and day, day in and day out. <laughs> Music, anything, anything, inventions, anything and everything you can ever imagine, they have been robbed from. Right. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. So clearly the Lord is talking about an extinction, an extermination of one house of people. Hmm. I wonder who raped, robbed, murdered the earth. I wonder. Let me see. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Lest there be any fallen king or pervane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Esau is the brother of Jacob. But... According to the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and 10, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Yeah. Verse 17, Hebrews 12 and 17, For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Because a lot of people might say, like, oh, it's just Esau. It's not his whole nation. Oh? Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, we. So it's talking about their whole people. So it says here, verse 1, verse 2. Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Saith the Lord. Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau. So the Lord hates somebody on the planet Earth. You might say, oh, he just only hates Esau and not, and not, you know, the rest of his people and his house and laid his mountains and inherit in his heritage ways for the dragons of the wilderness. Here the word dragons is there, which is lizards, uh, which you call dinosaurs and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, until this day, there are still dragons, but they're smaller. That's why they, for example, call them the Komodo dragon and stuff like that. But there are dragons in uh, Africa, but I'm not going to get into that. That's another video. I already did videos about that. I think videos before this, these, this video, these videos, because this is chapter 15, right? Yeah. Number 15. Yeah. So I did number four. I'm going to upload number 14. I didn't upload it yet. I'm going to upload it. So before that, you know, I had dinosaur videos and stuff like that, but also links in the description box concerning all the things that I talk about and all the videos that are out there about dinosaurs and stuff like that, which are dragons. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. And by the way, Esau is Edom, as you can see here in the book of Genesis chapter 36. Genesis 36 and 1. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Now it says here, verse 8, in Genesis 36 and 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So it says, we are in poverty, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they, the people, shall call them the Edomites. 
the border of wickedness. Why? Be they are the border. Of Everywhere they go, sodomy starts popping up. Ch kitty porn start popping up. Uh, uh, men, st uh, females start popping up over men. You know, because the Lord said that. First Timothy chapter two, verse eleven. Let let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Nowadays, these females don't want to be subjective. Um, subjected or they, they don't want to subject themselves they want to be above you but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to observe authority over the man but to be in silence they're not doing this so these people are not the people of the Lord because if you are a person of the Lord you will do what he says right be a doer of the word not a hearer only Romans 2 and 11 for not the hearers of wait, no, no, no. James 1 and 22 be ye doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving your own self you you tricking yourself you're not tricking me you're not tricking the father damn sure I ain't tricking the father verse 23 the next verse for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass and then standing up and then forgot what he was uh, what, what he just saw if I'm correct 24 for he beholded himself and go at his way and straightway forget what better of man he is <laughs> it's like you just huh? what, 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 did, what do I look like again huh? what is me again you don't know yourself because you're lying to yourself you don't know yourself it's, it's as if you don't know yourself, but you damn well sure as hell do know yourself. You know if you're a liar or not. Come on, man. Even a pathological liar knows that he's lying, but he just forces it on you to make you think that he's not lying. But he knows he's lying. But that's why he's a pathological liar. <laughs> and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And they shall also call them the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. Right. So, they're going to pay for changing words in the Bible. They changed them. Because, like I said, when I read this in the first time, the first few years, I never knew what this was. I always thought whales. I always saw this in my head. When I was reading the script, I saw this. Well, not specifically this one. I saw actually the, the gray one in my head, in my head. You know, but now I know that that is not what it says right there. So, and that's why Job, in the book of Job, Job 30, if, yeah, I'm, I'm correct, yeah. Job 30, uh, no, 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 40. 40 and 18. Oh, 15. Behold, now, behemoth which I made with thee. Where? In Genesis. He eateth grass as an ox. But anyway, too much of this. Going into too many different topics. Sorry about that. Let me go back to over here. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 2. For there was a tabernacle made. The first wherein was the candlestick and the tabernacle and the showbread which is called the sanctuary right so that's the first on the on the worldly sanctuary and the second veil oh yeah by the way the veil um let me see let me see the tabernacle veil tabernacle veil here here look at it i saw it here look at it first you have the first veil right and then you have the second veil now, only the high priest is allowed to come here, and he always has blood with him because he's finna do a blood sacrifice. And then you have here in the middle, you have the mercy seat, and you have the two angels on the side of it. Let me grab this picture then. I'll go back to this. <clears throat> right. So in here, you have the mercy seat, and you have the smoke coming up. Wait, let me try and find another picture. Ark of the Covenant. Let me see. Smoke. Yeah, okay, check this out. You got the smoke up in here. 
and then you have the smoke here burning upside uh, burning the smoke upwards sorry not upside upwards and um, yeah if you read the book of and this is also and if you watch the movie hey, this is a good picture if you watch the movie hmm, what's that movie called again um, Ark of the no 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 the Raiders of the Lost Ark right Raiders of the Lost Ark death scene let me see yeah this one no I don't, I don't think so oh yeah 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 you see that that came out of the arc but I don't want this scene death scene I think this is it. Ah, the Lord's Vengeance. <laughs> this one. Funny that he named it like the person named it like that. Okay, cool. I'll put this link in the description box. So as you can see, the smoke, smoke is around. They they got that good in the movie. Okay, cool. They got that good. You know, movies lie often. You see the spirits, and then you know. And, uh, Right, let me turn it over. Right, you can check that out for yourself if you have the time. So they kind of good, but they they kind of good. They, in the movie, they kind of hmm, they kind of did uh, did a good job, kinda. Yeah. So going back to over here now. This is the second veil. This is the verse veil. The priest is allowed to come here. Only the high priest is allowed to come here. And if anybody else that is not a Levite come in here, he will die. Or if he comes near, he will die. 